welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Kid Troy. On today's episode, we're going to be making empanadas. Now before we get on to this episode, hit the subscribe button over here and smash the like button over here. Now let's get started. First, let's brown the meat. Brown beef actually, oh no. Pick the whole plate up and just dump it in there. Get a spoon off of there. Okay. Dump it? Yep. Mm. Hurry up, dump it! You know we do go! There you go. Oh. Alright, uh, now I'm gonna chop it off with this spoon. Ow. Ow. That does not hurt you, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, one did. And then All I right. scraped it. <clears throat> Scrape it. Stop it. Huh? Stop it up. That's what I'm doing. Ow. Oh. Alright, good job. That meat is nicely brown. And because it's lean meat, there's very little grease in there. So we're gonna go ahead and move to getting the uh, ingredients in. Alright. So we got here some salt and pepper. Sprinkle me, man. Sprinkle me. In the words of E40, sprinkle me, man. <laughs> we got some cumin. And some chili powder. I was about to say that. Yeah. And some uh, some uh, chipotle seasoning. Just mix that around thoroughly. We're gonna add in some onions and some peas. That'll be that'll complete the savory empanada. So All we're right. gonna make two parts. We're gonna make a savory empanada and a dessert empanada. So we got savory and sweet. Okay. All right. So let's get the filling done for the savory, and then we'll do the filling for the uh, dessert. Grab a little bit of onion, dump that in there. Take these peas, dump that in there. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit more onion. And we gotta get some garlic. I forgot the garlic, hold on. All right, so we just added the garlic. We got onions and peas and the ground beef. Now stir all that stuff together, Troy. All right. The garlic I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably do the peas most because. Yeah, the, the, the little ice chip that's on there, it'll melt. It came out of the freezer. You can use frozen peas, fresh peas. Just don't use cans. Just stir all that up together, Troy. Why not cans? <clears throat> cans are too mushy. Stir Ooh. the garlic too, buddy. Stir the garlic. All right. All right. We'll let that cook for about a minute or two. So here's our filling for the savory empanadas. Now let's make the sweet empanada filling. All right, let's just get the mango in here. Chopped the mango already. Now there's some leftover pineapple. I'm gonna chop this up real quick. <clears throat> they're already cut. I'm just making them smaller than what they are, so they're, they're more uh, bite-sized pieces for the empanada. You know, you'll be able to close the empanada better. Now, Troy, when you get older, I'm gonna teach you nice skills. Get that brown piece out of there. Ooh. Teach you nice skills where all I'm doing is the reason why I don't cut myself, you always keep the blade against the back of your knuckles here. So when you're going up, you never go higher than your knuckle because if you come up here, you can slice your skin off. So if you keep the blade at the back of your knuckle right here, you never cut yourself. Always keep your thumb behind your fingers so you don't cut off the tip of your thumb. I once saw a guy do that too, so that's pretty bad. What happened to him? I mean, they, the doctor sewed it back on, but it, we still call him thummy. <laughs> <laughs> He's all thumbs. No, I'm just kidding. But so, no, seriously, he did cut his finger off. So that's how you do it. How, right. did, how did he survive? Nah, he, he did it on a meat slicer. He didn't do it on a, a with a regular knife. He was cleaning the meat slicer without a guard. And I said, hey, man, you might want to put the guard on that meat slicer. And he was like, I've been in the Navy longer than you. I know what I'm doing. I said, okay. <laughs> he, he, he cut his finger off. <laughs> so I was like, mental note to self. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so now we're gonna make the filling for the, for the sweet. We're gonna melt that butter. We're gonna throw in some mango. Pineapple. Cinnamon. Dash of salt. 
and brown sugar. All right, and our oven's ready. This, that's where the empanada's gonna go. All right, that's what you have to preheat on, 350. So it's about medium heat. What we want to do is kind of caramelize that brown sugar. So I just cut that flame up to above medium. It's almost at high. So we'll start burning this here shortly. That's what we want, okay? We're gonna okay. turn this into a nice little filling. So let's let that cook for about three minutes, okay? Okay. Let's go get some cornstarch to thicken this up because the, the juices of all this fruit is about to come out of here. And I want to thicken it up with some cornstarch, all right? All right. All right, so you see how this brown sugar is caramelizing right here on the edges? Look at the edge. Get a shot of that. See how it's turning brown? Yeah. It's that brown sugar starting to burn a little bit because I got that flame on high. So I'm going to add in this cornstarch right here. This is just, uh, actually, see that? It's just uh, cold water and one, it's like maybe a tablespoon of water and a tablespoon of cornstarch. Get it all super vinci and everything. See how I made it thick? Let me add a little more. nice thick filling so it doesn't burst out of the empanada okay okay cut that flame down and it's going to continue to bake in the oven all right all right let's go so there's your filling the mango and pineapple filling for empanada i did have to add um about three tablespoons of water to it to kind of uh the, the cornstarch was too thick so just do two teaspoons of cornstarch not one tablespoon so we got the empanada dough here. <clears throat> it's basically just pie dough. Um, I'm gonna roll it out. Let me get my flour thing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the way that's spreading. There we go. Oh, that's good pie dough. Make sure your, your, your counter stays good and floured. That way you, you don't rip your dough. And it won't stick, probably. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna make those circles, empanada circles. Let's probably get about four empanadas out of that. All right. So here's one ring. One empanada, two empanada, three empanada, four empanadas. Let's see if I can get a fifth one. There we go. We can get five empanadas out of that. There we go. Mm. That up. You can save this dough for more empanadas if you want, depending on how many you want to make. I've got more dough over here if I want to use it. Empanadas. All right. All right, we're gonna make savory and then we're gonna make sweet. So All right. we'll cut that for now. All right. I really wish I had a bigger ring. This stuff is falling out. Uh-oh. Yeah, this should be bigger than this. Maybe the size of a small plate. Actually, you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. Scratch that. These go to small empanadas. I'll make some bigger empanadas. I'm gonna use a plate. So we'll cut that and I'll come back and show you how to do a bigger one. Okay. All right. All right, so the empanadas need to be bigger than the, the other cutters that I had. So what I'm doing is I'm measuring the size of a plate and you can cut it in half that way. So you just go around the plate like this. Unless you can get a cutter this size, which I don't think, I don't know if they exist. That's stuck. 
And we'll do this one. There we go. So there's two empanadas. So what we did was we cut out and take a look over here. We took the two smaller ones and I made savory empanadas out of these, but empanadas are traditionally folded in half. So that's what I'm gonna do on this one right here. So there's one dessert empanada. I'm gonna take this dessert empanada, and place it right here. And then we do one savory. Those peas don't run away. <laughs> Take our egg wash and go around the edge. Actually, let me, let me remove the pieces I don't need because I can make another amp empanada out of this. Let's remove that trimming. And you really don't have to go all the way around. You can just do it on one half. Like that. The meat wants to chase my brush. <laughs> <clears throat> and then just fold it over. Try to keep the filling inside. You have to stretch a little bit. That's what it's for. Crimp down the edges. It's okay if it splits, you want the air and the steam to escape. So it's okay to have a little pocket there. Take your dough knife, pick it up, take it to your tray. To maximize space, you can turn it at an angle. Same thing with the dessert. Take the dessert, fold it over like this. Crimp down your edges. On top of the egg wash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Some are trying to escape. Yeah, they're trying to get out of there. Prison escape. More like empanada prison escape. Hmm. And then, <clears throat> generally, traditionally, you take a fork. Crimp your edges. Like that. You can do, do it on the round ones. I'll use those. Why do you want to put it all so that way the air can? Well, no, you want the dough to form a seal all the way around. So it doesn't, so it doesn't pop open and everything come kind of bubbling out. All right. All right, so now we pop, apply our egg wash completely to all the empanadas we've got two dessert empanadas. <clears throat> and then we've got three savory empanadas, one traditional shape. And then these two completely rounded discs here. <laughs> Wait, those look like UFOs. I know, don't they? Mm -hmm. That's cute. We'll keep that. There you go, brush it all the way around. All right, now we'll, we'll get these bad boys in the oven here for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes or until fully baked. All right. On 350 in a conventional convection oven or 375 in a, uh, com 375 in a conventional <laughs> oven, 350 in a convection oven. So remember, remember that. And also let's poke an air hole. On each one? Yep. Put a couple oh. air holes there. Because the steam's got to go somewhere, right? If we don't, the steam's going to explode out of there and ruin our dish. No. All right. R.I.P. to the it's not RIP. It's just We're about to make some empanadas. Not, they're not dying. So here's our empanadas with savory and sweet. 
both of them are delicious. Hope you, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a comment below. Share this video. See y'all next time. Bye.